What's up guys and welcome to our nursery. Uh, so Elise and I are having a baby boy in a little under two months now. Uh, it's our first baby and I wanted to show you everything that we're kind of set up in here today. Uh, now don't worry, I'm not gonna make my YouTube channel just like full on baby spam all the time, but this has been really fun, like shopping and decking it all out. So hopefully you can all enjoy it. Uh, and of course, we're very, very open to advice from anyone, parents, non-parents, whoever you want, because all this in here is like literally the visual representation of the saying, all the gear and no idea. Like we got no idea what we're doing. So any tips, advice, very welcome. Uh, but the first couple things I want to show you are actually two things that aren't going to live in the nursery. It's the bassinet and the pram. So through a little bit of movie magic, I will bring them in now. Okay, so the bassinet. Uh, so I'm pretty sure like a lot of babies will like sleep in a bassinet, not the cot for the first few months, like in your room. Um, so that's what we're going to do at least. This is the Valco Baby Rico bassinet. Um, it's like safe and it's white and that's pretty much all the criteria we had so yeah $130 pretty cheap really light easy to like move around and stuff like that um, so I'm sure that'll do the job for us uh, let me get the pram out it's getting a little crowded in here so the pram we went for the baby B Rover uh, which was $750 which I don't know if that sounds like a lot, but for anyone who's uh, gone pram shopping before, you'll know that that's like really cheap. Like you can pay three, four times that amount for a pram. So um, yeah, definitely cheap. We weren't trying to save money with it. It just like, it honestly just happened to tick all the boxes of things we were looking for. Um, so apart from the stylish uh, gray and brown, which I'm sure I'm gonna look very good walking the street in this, very fashionable at the moment. I think most of the prams have this kind of look going on. Um, some of the other things we wanted were storage, which this has a lot of down the bottom. Um, we wanted like to be able to switch out a bassinet and a seat. So you can see that came out pretty easily. And then there's a seat that comes with it. And you can just clip in and then both the bassinet and the seat can face either way. And yeah, a pretty, uh, when you're more skilled than me, a pretty easy to put in and out. Uh, and we also want it to be like pretty easy to fold down and pretty compact when it does fold down. So let's see if I remember this. I'm pretty sure you just do that and it's good to go in the car. So yeah, let me get rid of all this stuff with some more movie magic. All right, so the rest of the room, uh, the cot is a brewery country cot. Um, from a few years ago, which I'm told is like a very nice cot. Like we're doing pretty well to have a brewery country cot, uh, but we didn't pay a cent for it. We got it uh, handed down to us from Elise's cousin, Kate. So thank you, Kate, very generous of you. Uh, and of course we went out and bought all this like lovely decorations in there to make it look nice. And then uh, we went to like a baby class and they were like, are you serious? Like you can't have anything in the cot. Like it's pretty much like a baby tucked in covered by like a sheet or something like that. Like you don't want anything in here that could like fall on its face or whatever. So yeah, all that's going to be gone, but we wanted to keep it in to make it look nice for the reveal. As soon as the video's done, bang, out the door. Um, this is cool. Like you can lower the side of this so you can like pick up the baby like that, rock it around instead of like reaching in. Uh, and it's got like a little drawer underneath which you can keep like all the sheets and towels or whatever else you want under there so that's nice uh, so the chair <whistles> let me tell you this bad boy is the Valco baby Eurobell mother glider and it is the Rolls Royce of nursing chairs um, so I don't think like nursing chairs are really that necessary but we like we don't have anything up here to sit down in so we thought we need to get a chair to sit in here with. And we thought, we're gonna get a chair. Let's get a rocking chair, obviously. And you might be getting a rocking chair, get a glider so you can go side to side as well as back and forth. And if you're getting a glider, get a reclining one so you can sit like this. But right now, my legs are very uncomfy just hanging here. You want a footrest. And right now, there's nowhere for me to store all this necessary stuff I need to keep under my feet. So get a footrest with storage. Think of the possibilities of things I could keep in here. Endless. So that's the nursing chair. $599 I think it was, which definitely broke the budget, but no regrets, you know? You only live once. Uh, the innovation here of the, the drawers and the change mat. So the drawers are, I think, are the Ikea Hems range, if I'm saying it right. 
Um, and the change mat is also from Ikea, but it's kind of stuck on top ourselves with like some command strips. And apparently a lot of people are kind of doing this on the internet, the, this kind of like arrangement with like Ikea drawers and put the mat on yourself. Um, so that's pretty cool. The drawers have got uh, these nice little like dividers that we bought to put in there. So you've got all your knickknacks, you've got some nappies in here. Uh, this is pretty good actually. At the uh, baby shower, a lot of um, Elise's friends like all wrote messages on the nappy and her family. So this smell shall pass. <laughs> that would be good to read at 3 a.m. Nice little joke when you change a nappy early in the morning. Even if not properly on, this one won't last for long. <laughs> good one, Lynn. Uh, what else have we got in here? The the triangles were all done uh, by Elise. She stuck them on herself. I got to admit when she was like, I'm gonna put triangles on the wall, I wasn't that much of a fan, but now that I see them, I love them. I reckon they're super cute. Um, this little hanging thing is just really for decoration, but you know, you can put a cute little outfit on here for the next day or a bib or a chew toy or something. Yeah, whatever babies do with that. And what else have we got? We've got the monitor here, which uh, I think is the Oricom SC710. Uh, again, it's the same with everything. Everything in here was really hard to pick because there's so much stuff out there that all seems really similar and you don't know how to pick the best one. Um, but this has uh, video and like two-way chat with the baby if you want to have a conversation with it. Um, and most importantly, it was recommended to us by Lisa's cousin, Nicole. So yeah, we found recommendations really helpful to kind of find our way through the, the mess of information out there. Um, so that was only like $180, I think. So that was really cheap as far as Mondas go. Let me show you the wardrobe. The wardrobe, we have all the clothes hanging and arranged in size order at the moment. Looks very organized now. I'm sure all of that is gonna go out the window when the chaos starts. Got some pretty like, pretty cute outfits here. Um, so that'll be good. And then lastly, let me show you probably my favorite thing about the room. It's only a small detail, but this thing here uh, is made by my grandpa Pete and he makes all these like amazing little woodwork pieces. And we've got so many over the years, but he made this one for Elise and I for our new baby. Uh, and we love it. We stuck it straight on the door. And yeah, probably my favorite thing about the room. So thank you, Pete. Uh, and that's it. I mean, that's, that's the whole nursery. Uh, I'm sure there's so many things in here that are not gonna work for us or that will work for us as good and bad, but you know, it's a learning process. I'm sure we'll figure it out and I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun as we go. So thanks a lot for watching guys. Feel free to give us a like and subscribe to the channel if you like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.